Okay, so today's video is something that many of you have been requesting from me. I think ever since I started my weight loss journey and my uh, weight lifting journey, many of you have seen the change and are asking everything about everything. You want to know my supplements, you want to know my workout routine. And when it comes to my workout routine, I do plan on eventually sharing it with you. Perhaps we're going to be going back to Buffalo for a little while, and just a month, and we're going to uh, join a gym that is very close to our new apartment. And it is a 24-hour gym, so perhaps I'll be able to record in there. My reason for not bringing an exercise video from the gym is because I'm not the only person in there and I have to be respectful of other people. It's a small gym. We are in season right now in Florida, so that means all the snowbirds are here. So our gym has at least five or six people in the morning and because it's a small gym it's very hard for me to set up the camera and record without getting someone else on it and I'm not going to disrespect others so just be patient with me the exercise video will come if in Buffalo I find that when we are at the gym there's no one else there and the girl did tell me the manager did tell me that early morning hours are dead I will uh, try to record at that gym. If not, perhaps I'll try to do something from home. But an exercise video is coming. Some of you want to know my most favorite exercise clothes. I'm not a Lululemon girl, that's for sure. So, that video, maybe I'll combine the two on some of my most favorite things to wear when I'm exercising. The only thing that I'm very particular with are uh, my sneakers. Or my tennis shoes oh. that matters the most to me not necessarily you know is my butt look good in my exercise pants or anything like that and uh, you wanted to know what I eat in a day that will be coming and um, just a, an update on my hair you want to know and you want an update on my weight loss the weight loss has been fabulous uh, my uh, body composition is changing right before my eyes at 63 years old and um, anybody, I, I think I was this, this person too. I think that a lot of times we as women, and I'm not saying all, but I do feel that some women do use menopause as an excuse. That's not to say that everybody is using it as an excuse, but I think for me, you know, the weight was packing on and I was refusing to change my ways and I was just blaming it all on menopause. Well, in fact, it does make it a little more difficult if we don't change our ways. And that does not necessarily mean giving up everything you love in regard to food. It means movement of your body, what you choose to do for exercise, and prioritizing protein and fiber and calories because calorie deficit does matter, my friends, and it does not have to be a deficit of 500 calories. I did it where it was only like maybe a deficit of 200 calories because I didn't want my face sagging along with everything else. I mean, I'm already, there's certain parts of my body after the weight loss, I look and I go, look at all that skin. And that's what happens when you stretch it and then you take it back to where it was. So I'm hoping that my exercising will really help with that but but that is not what this video is about this video is about my supplements and what i take this question i get asked all the time one thing you will notice in here there is no there are nothing to help me lose weight there's no diet pills the uh, the way i take my vitamins and my supplements i take them to make up for things that i don't eat because i don't have a variety of foods. I don't eat beef. I don't eat seafood. I don't eat fish. So I'm not getting omegas. I'm not getting B12. I'm not getting a lot of things from my food. Yes, I eat fruits and vegetables, but I'm finding that I eat less vegetables now because they upset my stomach. And um, dairy products, I've cut out a lot of dairy products because they were upsetting my stomach. I still eat dairy, but um, different types of dairy. So, um, and that'll come along with the foods. I'm going to do a video, um, must have foods 
during my journey and that are now my lifestyle, okay? And not many of them have changed. It's just the portion sizes, everything. But we'll get to that in this video. We're gonna do our supplements. First thing I do to make taking supplements very easy is I ordered one of these large pill holders. And this gives you Sunday morning, Sunday noon, Sunday evening, Sunday bedtime. So if you have vitamins or supplements that you take and you just take them one a day, some vitamins you have to pay attention, they say take two times a day, but you can just use this for four weeks. That's how I do it. And then the ones that are doubled up, like my eye vitamins, it's take two and separate them. You take one in the morning and one in the evening. Uh, I just have the bottle by in the kitchen so that I remember to take it with dinner. And I take all of my supplements with food because if I don't, they give me reflux. So all of my vitamins, whether it says on the bottle or not, are taken with food. And we have to remember that some vitamins are water soluble, some are fat soluble. You have to make sure you have a well-balanced diet to break some of the vitamins down. But anyway, I'm not an expert on it. I'm just telling you what I do for myself. So I do have one of these. And the last time I shared my supplements, they did not have these online. And I wanted to order more because if there's one thing I hate doing is separating my vitamins and taking them. I hate filling these things. And if I leave them just in the bottle, I won't take them. I have to have everything prepped and ready to go. So they now have it in a double pack. So I ordered this just recently. I will link them below for you. They come in a double pack. You may not need both of them, but maybe someone else in your house takes vitamins too. I mean, Louis has one, but his is a smaller one because he doesn't take anywhere near the vitamins that I take. All right, so we are going to get started. So for fiber, nothing has changed here. And a lot of my vitamins... Um, I'm sharing with you are the same vitamins that I have taken before. There are some new things, and as I get to them, I will tell you why I am taking them. So fiber, well, now this is not a favorite of mine. I don't like taking these, but my doctor, um, my gastroenterologist, uh, wanted me to take more fiber. And um, with my new eating, I am taking in so much more fiber and I'm eating less vegetables, my friends. It makes no sense to me, but I'm, I'm eating lots of berries and fruits and things that I love, my friends. I love. But anyway, I take the Vitafusion Fiber Well. Now, these are sugar-free because you'll notice a lot of these gummies are loaded with sugar. So this one has five grams of fiber per uh, serving, and I take two every single day, and I take them with dinner. No artificial flavors, no gluten, no high fructose corn syrup, no dairy, no synthetic FD or C dyes made in the USA, but they do have uh, some sugar alcohol. So sugar alcohol upsets my tummy, but it's only one gram in here, and I have to take it. Now, when I go and see my doctor um, in June, I will discuss with her and uh, we will decide together whether I continue to take these because of my diet. I think my doctors are going to be blown away when they see me. My gynecologist, my gastroenterologist, and my primary, I think are gonna be blown away by my weight loss and the way my body looks so different. I think they will, and if they're not, I'll have to really show them. Say, hey, do you notice anything about me? <laughs> anyway, All right, so next up, I take the quercetin. Now, this is to support cardiovascular health. It improves anti-inflammatory and immune response. Now, I told you guys that Lou has a friend who's an um, anesthesiologist, and he's also a health nut, and he researches all kinds of supplements because, because that's just his way. He's a real um, natural kind of guy, and every time you know something comes up, like during COVID, he would send Lou and I some research on certain supplements. And he said, you know, you should be taking quercetin. I was already taking it because someone told me to take it for my allergies. But now Lou and I both take it. It also supports healthy aging and overall well-being. So this is going to help your immune system, your inflammatory response, and, and cardiovascular health. Uh, this one here is for my bones. I was taking something different and I was, this was recommended and said that you must get something that has the glucosamine. Uh, the one I was taking uh, did not have the glucosamine HC1 in it and it was recommended that I take this for uh, joint health. 
So I am taking the Cosamin DS for joint, joint health because I'm having some issues. And I'll even show you what the pill looks like. It is a purple white pill and you have to take three of these a day. And I have been taking them now. This is my first bottle. I'm halfway through it. And hopefully this will work better than the other um, one I was taking. I think the other one I was taking was Shift. And as I go along, I will be putting one of these in every single one of these little containers. And then I only have to do that every now and then. So magnesium. I had told you that I was taking this magnesium from Nature's Bounty. It was from Costco. High absorption magnesium glycinate. Now, uh, I was reading something and then I heard a few other people discussing it and they said this is really good for menopausal women. Now, this one supports muscle relaxation, bone, heart, and nerve health. The one that I think actually works better for me and as soon as I'm done with these, I'm going to go back to it. I ordered a bottle of it and this is the uh, Pure Encapsulation Magnesium Glycinate, same um, supplement but just a different formula a different company and this one works a little bit better for me it's also gluten-free non GMO and hypoallergenic so I like this one better I don't know why it just seems to first of all I think it relaxes me a little bit more at night and my restless leg syndrome acts up less when I'm taking this one so I really do like that now for nail vitamins, uh, I take nail vitamins just because my nails after menopause were just crap. That's all they were. They're ridge split. I could not grow them. My nails are growing again. And if you've been with me long enough, you know that when my nails are in a sad state, I give them a break from nail polish. Now I'm just about ready to start wearing nail polish again, but I wanted to talk to you about some supplements that I'm taking for my nails outside of my collagen peptide, which I put in my smoothie every single morning and I have for years, um, I started taking these again from Fito. And Joelle had sent me these many, many, many years ago. And when I started taking them, I noticed that my nails got really healthy. So I just finished a bottle of these and my nails got really healthy again. So there is something to be said for these. Now that does say that this works on your hair. I don't notice anything with my hair but I definitely do notice that my nails improve. So when I was in uh, Salon Centric, and that is a professional store, I saw these. And I see a lot of people, um, well, I see a lot of advertisements for these. And this is the Vivisco Pro Advanced Hair Health. Now, you know I was struggling with some hair loss, and uh, nothing that I was taking in the supplement form was really making a difference. I do my scalp massages, and I do believe in scalp massage, and rosemary oil is something that's very, very good uh, for the scalp. And yes, I do understand and know that everything must be right on the inside for the outside to be better. We all know this, okay? Because I get somebody leaving me a comment telling me I said you got to put topical stuff on for everything to grow, and that's not true. Healthy fats matter, but massage is very good for the scalp, and a clean scalp is very, very important. It's very important, my friends. Anyway, the supplement I take is professional strength. Now, this was very expensive, even for me to buy it wholesale, but this has an amino mar with apple extract powder and biotin. And this one is 100% drug free and clinically proven. There's 180 tablets, it's a marine complex. So I have been taking these now. I just finished, almost finished one pack. And I don't wanna jump the gun on anything because these are very expensive. So I would really like to finish this to be able to say 100%. But I am noticing a lot of sprouts. And I just take two of these a day. And um, I don't know, they're, they and my nails have gotten even stronger. So even though this doesn't say for nails, it's just for hair. Um, I don't know, my hair is really, it's growing like a weed for one. I can't wait to get my hair cut, I just can't wait. So I am taking those, I will update you a little bit more. And since we're talking about hair vitamins, I do, this is my second bag of this now. I take pumpkin seed oil because there is research that says that pumpkin seed oil also helps with hair growth. 
So I have been taking these. This is my second bag of these. So I have taken 240 of these already. And I am taking this bag. I'm going to continue to take these though because I want my gray hair to be really healthy even though it's virgin hair. Gray hair can be difficult. And this is the size of the pumpkin seed and it is a gel form. So I really like these and the company is the Micro Ingredients. I get them off of Amazon. I'm also taking from that same company. Now this I take for inflammation because I have a lot of joint issues. And um, the way I eat now I, it's not gut. It's just not gut because I've got my gut really healthy and I just, you know, it's genetics. My mom was loaded with arthritis. Uh, relatives were all loaded with it. So it's just something that's genetically in my family and all of my brothers and sisters suffer the same way. So I do take the black seed oil because there's a lot of research that said this really helps with inflammation. This is also my second bag of these. So I have taken 240 of these also. They are GMO free. They are gluten free and dairy free. They are all little pills, gel tabs, which I prefer. They go down much easier. And I also get these off of Amazon. And I, I do think that they help. I really do. And a lot of people will say, oh my goodness, that's some very expensive urine she has. Well, my urine and my wallet, but um, I've been taking these things for so long that, well, most of my supplements I have been taking for so long that I don't want to stop taking them because I could fall apart. <laughs> I take no medications, but I take a boatload of supplements. All right, and so the, the next one, uh, I was taking a different brand in this, but because I like this brand so much, I decided to try their odorless aged garlic. Now, uh, I don't cook with a lot of garlic. If you use a lot of garlic, you cook with a lot of garlic, you eat garlic raw, you probably don't need to take a supplement. Uh, we don't really eat a whole lot of garlic anymore because Lou's diet has changed so much that I'm not making pasta meals anymore. I'm not making a lot of the things that you know, I used to use garlic in, which garlic is very healthy for you. So uh, I started supplementing with it again because I want the benefits. It's very good for the heart. And um, it's non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free. And there are 300 soft gels in here and you take two soft gels daily. I take them in the morning with breakfast. And what's really nice about them is they do not repeat. They are not repeating. All right, uh, I also take from Vitalia Life. This is their immune up. I take this for my immune system. Um, with everything that's traveling around, uh, I've been taking these for, well, there are 120 capsules in here, and this is my second bottle, maybe my third bottle. And I also already have my backup of them because I'm gonna be traveling. I wanna make sure I keep the immune system healthy. Uh, and this has cellular health, micro, by a microbial defense and immune support. Um, I just, I really like it. I just like it. I, you know, outside of my allergies, I have been very, very lucky, knock on wood. And every now and then from the same company, I will take the, this is a CBD at night if I'm just having a hard time sleeping, I will just take one of these little soft gels and it's just, um, it's their dream formula. I think this was a sample pack, but um, for many years, many, many years, and for a very long time, I would take um, some sort of CBD just before I would go to bed to really help me sleep better. And I did find that it really made a difference. And this one here, you get 500 milligrams of the hemp actives. Again, non-GMO, no THC, and a pure extract. So I do really enjoy those. And then for years, I have taken resveratrol because I don't drink red wine. And there are some benefits to red wine. Uh, so I have been taking resveratrol for years. I do change my formula, but there are certain things. This one has 600 milligrams and it's 100% with natural extracts and promotes healthy blood sugar, cardiovascular health, and it supports a healthy aging and antioxidant support. Again, GMO free, 
gluten-free and dairy-free, 100% natural, and it has 800 milligrams of the trans resveratrol root extract, and it also has some green tea, grape seed extract, asahi fruit extract, and it has quercetin and red wine extract. So uh, I just really research and find because uh, sometimes they stop carrying it on Amazon. They'll ca stop carrying a brand that I used to or it's sold out and they don't know when it's coming back. So I always search around to find um, others that have either better ingredients or the same. So I do take a resveratrol, ginkgo biloba, I have talked about before. My ear, nose, and throat specialist told me that there are some small studies that were done that there is something about ginkgo biloba that possibly helps people who suffer from vertigo and I do and I have a pretty bad case of vertigo and I have been taking these for years I will not st stop taking these because I do feel that my vertigo has been less and less. The next one I just started taking because Lou thinks I should. So I'm taking potassium even though I do eat a lot of potassium filled foods uh, I'm still not getting in the required amount. So he told me to take a potassium and I have been taking one because I, I get a little lightheaded if I stand up too quickly. And it's always been that way. I used to just think it was my vertigo. And then I had, um, I had the ocular migraine and I also had a spasm in this hand. So muscle spasm sometimes can mean potassium. And he said, let's try this. And I said, okay. Every single morning and night, I take a Zyrtec. My uh, primary doctor told me to do this because I have pretty bad allergies down here in Florida. I'm convinced it's the mold. And two digestive enzymes I take. Uh, my massage therapist, her boyfriend, is a doctor, functional medicine. And I was talking about how I wanted to badly get off of my Prilosec. I take a prescription strength of it and I take, I was taking three a day, but now my doctor has me down to one a day, which is really good. And he said, if I, you know, maybe try this combination and I might be able to get off of it totally because we have to get my stomach making acid. There's a whole thing that goes on. So I am taking the Pure Encapsulation Digestive Enzymes Ultra he suggested these for me, but he made me do them slowly to make sure that my stomach could handle them. And then the Betaine HC1 Pepsin, these are Boast Digestive Enzymes, and they help with digestive function. They're gluten-free, non-GMO, hypoallergenic. And this one here is a supports for protein, carbohydrate, fat, fiber, and dairy digestion. So I do take those. My CoQ10 I've been taking forever. Ever. This is really great for the heart. And this is something that if you are on a cholesterol medication and you get joint aches, uh, CoQ10 is usually recommended to take because it helps with that. So I have been taking this brand. It's supposed to be one of the better ones. Lou just started taking this in liquid form. And I, um, I just take my pill form of it. I take a fish oil. This one is the Cori Pure Antarctic Krill Oil. This is my omega-3 because I eat no seafood fish at all. None. None, none, none. So I always take uh, a fish supplement, always. And these, you don't burp them up or anything like that. So I like that. I have other brands that I take as well. I buy these from Costco. Whatever Costco is running on sale that I take, a brand, I buy. It does not matter. I will switch on and off every month or every couple of months if they, you know, like next month they put a different fish oil that I use, I'll buy that one instead of this one. But I always have a krill oil. All right, so I take Nature's Bounty B12. This is a quick dissolve. I put it under my tongue every single morning, let it dissolve because I eat no meat. You get, so B12 is something that uh, I have been taking for umpteen million years. <laughs> D3, I have been taking 5,000 units, but being in Florida, I actually went down to the 2,000. Uh, I'm just finishing up this bottle because my vitamin D levels are up because I'm able to get out in sunshine. In Buffalo, people are usually 
um, deficient in vitamin D3 because we don't see the sun for months. So here in Florida, because I walk my dogs every day and I also take walks on my own, I am getting a lot of vitamin D3 and the sun is the best place to get it to, unfortunately. But I, I wear sunscreen and my levels have still gone up. So vitamin D3 is very, very important. And I forgot to bring my K2 up here. Um, I just ordered some K2 from this company, but it's taking a long time to get here. But I do have a small bottle. I'll link it below the brand I've been taking. I get it from uh, Amazon as well. K2 is very, very important because it helps to put push calcium into the bones where your body needs it. So K2 is very, very important. Sometimes you can find D3 and K2 together, but I take it separately. And like I said, uh, I think on Sunday, I'm getting the bag of K2 from this company. So you get a lot more tablets. You truly do. And then last but not least is my pressure vision. I've been taking some sort of eye supplement for at least 20 years when they diagnosed me with macular age degeneration. They told me to take Bosch and Loam, which this is Bosch and Loam, but they didn't have the pressure vision ARIDS 2. Now ARIDS 2 is what they recommend. And these are also just small and you take two a day, so I take one in the morning and one at night. And cut that, off, so I'm going to start this over. But anyway, uh, so that is what I take in the form of supplements. And uh, yes, it may be very expensive pee, and that's okay with me. I take everything I take because either a doctor recommended it, because I don't get it in my whole foods diet, because my diet is limited. Even though I eat healthy foods and 20% I will eat is junk, because that's just the way life is. You have to enjoy life. And I love a good piece of cheesecake every now and then. So 80 whole foods, 20% is spent on holidays and fun. So, and that's not every day. It's just like Easter's coming up. Um, I'm not making one diet food at all. I mean, there will be berries and there will be real whipped cream, um, you know, pancakes and a ham, which I won't eat. Uh, there will be all the traditional things that we have grown up on for Easter. And then the next day, it's right back to my normal way of eating. Actually, the next meal I have that day will be back to my normal way of eating. So I'm not afraid of the holidays coming up or anything like that. And uh, again, my supplements are all taken for a reason. They are not just, oh, I'm looking for some magical pill that's going to make me live forever because that's just not going to be. But at 63 years old, to be on no medication at all and hoping to get off the reflex medication is um, okay with me. And again, um, you know, your supplement journey is yours. I'm a firm believer. I think that they have made a difference in my life. And when I was in perimenopause, I took totally different things, which I think helped me. And now that I'm in menopause, I just basically really focus on the things my body needs to function at its best. Um, like I said, I'm not looking for something to give me magical powers or anything like that. I'm sure there are two or three things here I could get rid of. And, you know, who knows, maybe down the road I may. Like this may be a one time only. You know, it's not something that I'm going to do all the time. First of all, it's very expensive. This, but I wanted to try these for myself and all of you because this is pricey. So, but if it works and I can say, okay, I took these and I've got sprouts everywhere because, because I, I understand how hair grows and there are cycles to it. And you know, you shed and you grow and you shed and you grow and it's a lifelong thing, lifelong journey of how the hair works. But you know, if you're losing excessive amounts of hair, a diet can do it, illness can do it. So if this can help someone, I'm willing to try it for all of you. I'm willing to try all of this. And while I have my expensive pee, I'll be able to come back and tell you, okay, they did something. I mean, some of these things, I don't know if they're working, but, you know, either if a doctor says, okay, you need to supplement with this, okay, that's what I'm supplementing with, okay? So let me know, what does your supplement supply look like? I would love to know what, what, is, what are some of the supplements that you really do believe have helped with your ailments? I mean, joint pain 
is a problem for many people. And I know many people read the comments. So if you have something that has truly been a lifesaver for you, share it in the comments. That all right, my, for my supplements, all of the uh, videos that I talked about will be coming soon. And if there's anything that you would like to know in those particular videos, like my weight loss, uh, my hair journey, anything, leave it in the comments so I can add it into that video. All right, my friends, before you leave, if you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty, especially if you have expensive urine like me. <laughs> And if you don't, uh, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button right next to it is the bell that'll notify you of all the videos that I'm putting up. Until the next time, my friends, go out in the world, be lovable, and remember, it is okay to love your age. I love you all, my friends. Bisous.